Hey there, this is Bluefire, and I'll be reviewing Oil Rush. Oil Rush is a strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic setting where the world was nuked by some kind of unknown weapon, and so none of the countries are remaining, and all that's left is ocean. And since the only way to navigate through the ocean is by plane or by boat, people fight for oil, which is the main source of economy in this setting. And that's where you come in. You're commander, who apparently raised you from birth, wants you to prove your worth and go capture the oil from all the other different warring factions. Now, I personally don't play RTSs, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing in any of these games. I mean, most of the time, I just take all my units and just rush a single point. To destroy the enemy, send all troops at once. Huh. So yeah, you just select all of your units and throw them in a point. It's perfect for people like me. The problem is, though, is that you can't select individual units. Rather, you just select a point and tell them to go to another point. Yeah, I mean, you can filter it by type. Like, you can send only your light units or your air units and your heavy units together. But in the end, you're just kind of taking everything and just throwing it at a point. This can end up being a good and a bad thing. It means that you don't have to worry about specific unit placement when you're starting out. But if you want to get better at the game and you want to try different strategies such as, such as flanking, it can end up being a huge issue. This is especially notable when you're trying to assault the point. At any control point except for oil rigs, you can build turret defenses. You can build bunkers, artillery, or AA guns, which are good against light, heavy, and air units respectively. Since you have five nodes to build on, you and the enemy end up having uh, even battles between, you know, the light turrets and the heavy turrets. Add on to the fact that there isn't much of a rock, paper, scissors thing between units and you'll find out that most of your games end up with just you throwing every single one of your units at one single point. Now, a quick mention of the sounds before I continue. The music is pretty good at times, especially when you're about to assault a point. It really makes you feel like you're actually doing something productive. Thing is though, is that while the music is pretty good, the voice acting is absolutely dreadful. I mean, here, listen to this clip. Managed to survive. Our whole squadron was slaughtered, one by one. The enemy had advanced technologies we'd never dreamed of. We were outmatched, but we are not the ones to go down without a fight. I mean, were the ones. And instead of going back there, I'm stuck on the ground with nothing to fly in. We'll get you back into the sky, I promise. It doesn't even sound like they're trying. One final thing that I want to mention, since I've been playing the game and I felt that it was way too simple, I decided to be a man to raise the difficulty to normal. What followed was the most painful hour I've ever had. The enemy bases were constantly regenerating units, and if I had captured a point, the enemy would take it back in a second. I had to spend 15 minutes straight sending all of my units to their main base, one single control point, just to make any progress. Making the enemy have more units rather than use better tactics is a poor way to add difficulty to a game. In closing, this game is not my cup of tea. Sure, it's a simple RTS that I can grasp, but the faults of this game shine way too bright for me to recommend this to anyone. I'll give this game a 2.5 out of 5. Only get this game if you want a simple RTS and can bear with poor voice acting and unfair difficulty settings. This has been Bluefire, and I'll see you next time.